this video has been supported by my Patreons. With the support I get from them, I can give you guys regular content and updates. It also helps me improve my channel and go to overseas conventions more often. So what are you waiting for? Go check me out on Patreon and from just $1 a month, you can support me and the channel, get personal fursuit making help, and get some great rewards. Hope to see you there. Enjoy the video. Are you good? I'm good. You're good, alright. Hey everybody and welcome back to Taste, Taste Buds, Buds, which is still the absolute worst name I've ever heard, but Thank you know, you. we're sticking with it. We're sticking with it. Um, so in my in our previous PO Box video, you'll see that I received a whole bunch of Norwegian snacks. So in the fashion that seems to be going on, we're gonna taste them right there here on the show and we need to come up with a rating scale. So five out of what? Five out of, five, I, I don't know. Five out of five, like what's the scale? Uh... You just come up the scale. Um, Guys, let us know what you think the scale should be and we'll just be rating them on a scale of one to five today. All right, so um, do you want to grab the first thing that we have? Yes. One of those. So luckily I've actually heard none of these are horrible. None so of them are horrible, so. I'm not going to be eating any kind of dehydrated fish. No, not today. So not you won't today. get to see me, you won't get to see me suffer. Well, who knows? Maybe, maybe we just really won't like whatever it is. So we'll see. Yeah, who knows? All right. Oh, this is, this is gonna be an issue. This is gonna be an issue, but here. Oh, you wait, hold wait, wait. one no, in. No, 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 you need, it's a peely back thing. Yes, so I know. So I was... Grab the other bit, there you go. Oh! Yeah, 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 it's gonna be peely boy. I there see. There we go, okay. Teamwork. So, this is called, let's look at the package. It is called a... Quick lunch! Or a quick lunch. Quick lunch. <laughs> um, Alright, it looks like a Kit Kat. It does look like a Kit Kat. It looks like a Kit Kat, so, here you go. Take a stick. Alright, there we go. How do we say cheers in Norwegian? I don't know. I don't, I'll ask Korok after, ready? Oh, okay. Ah! Uh. Mmm. Oh my god, that's it. Mmm. Mm. Honestly, I like this better than a normal Kit Kat. I do too. The chocolate is nicer. The chocolate is nicer. Mm. I'm not sure what it is, but... I think it's because it's from cold climates. Yeah, maybe. But it's like a, it's like a much better version of Cadbury. Mmm. Mmm. I agree. So, Karok told me some things about this. Apparently, it's an Easter tradition to have one of these with an orange. It's if Cadbury made Kit Kats, mm. not Mars. If Cadbury made Kit Kats, but it's not quite Cadbury. It's, it's, nice it's, a, it's a Kit Kat Cadbury love child. Right, so, what, what would you give it out of five? Depending whatever rating we're doing, at least a four. At least, at least a four. A four. A four. Well, compare it to the other things. We're gonna go four for now. Four. Now this so, one I find hilarious. It's, it's called Solo. In Australia we have, a, I don't know if Americans have Solo as well, but... Do they? I'm not sure, but no, we I'm have pretty a sure that Because it's made by Kirk's, which is an Australian... Yeah, that's true, brand. that's true. Two pant. Two pant. Two, two pant. Two pant. Two pant. It says two pant. I'm going to open this really, really slowly so because question, it has... Why is it called a pair of pants if there's only one? Oh. So wouldn't a pair of pants be two? All right, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm expecting it, it to taste just like Fanta. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing too. Except with just a bit more floral notes, knowing the um, the Norwegians. Because correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure in Norway and blah blah blah, blah all that stuff, you can get champagne flavored everything almost everywhere. Like yum, champagne flavored gum. Why you send us that, man? I, I, I think. I, I will have a, otherwise, have a thing. Otherwise, that might have be Finland. One. I'm not too sure, but it's one of the two. It kind of tastes like Fanta, pretty much. But it's slightly not as sweet. Oh, yeah. I think that one's going to be a 4 for me, and uh, I'm going to up the other one to a 4.5. Okay, well, I'm going to keep right. that one at a 3.5. 3.5? Personally, half? for Valid. me. Um, Valid. That's just because I like normal Fanta more, but that's a good... That's like Diet Fanta. Diet Fanta, yes. So... <laughs> Shall we, shall we do the toast next? So, in the video I got this thing in a jar and I thought it was curry paste, but it's not curry paste or anything involved You know, because Norwegians are known for making curry. It's fun, look that's what, this is, it comes in an orange jar, this is what curry paste looks like when you buy it from Coles. Basically, I thought it was this, but apparently it's something you're supposed to eat on toast. I guess it's like a Nutella variety, kind I, of like Nutella. It's like, it's like Nutella, but it does look like caramel. It's it, called papa. So I'll pop this down. You guys can and see yes, we asked Karok how we're actually meant to eat this. Yeah, so Unlike uh, all you Americans and how you learn how to eat Vegemite. Which you eat out of a spoon. Which you eat out of a spoon and then you eat and copious then you die. amounts and you die. Which is not correct. Which is not correct. 
So we spread it on toast because apparently that's how it's supposed that's to be. That's how it's meant to be in. Like, I'm gonna try to get it in. Just like Nutella. Head. I'm gonna try to get it in my head. I Without can see it. spreading it everywhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm, 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 okay. Tastes really buttery. Mm. But it tastes just like if you've ever had condensed milk, like mm. condensed milk caramel. Caramel? But just mixed in a bit of proper caramel. Yeah. So it's it's like Fake caramel with extra caramel. Fake caramel with extra caramel. But that's not bad. I could eat that, but not constantly. No, I guess, I feel like it'd be a good like little treat. Yeah, like yeah. if you heated that stuff up, that would be a great ice cream topper. Oh my god, yes, that would be a great idea. Just like warm it up and pour it on ice cream. Apparently, they eat it on toast. It's like what kids used to eat. Which... Well, I can see that obviously. It's, yeah. It's pretty much just Nutella. I'm like, gonna give I'm gonna give that one a 3.5, I reckon. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a 3.5 as well. Oh, that's valid. It's, right. it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's but nice. It's definitely aimed for kids. Yeah, definitely. It's very sweet. And we've got one more, which is the mystery box. There. Which is the mystery box with a very questionable name. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like uh, it's like I. <laughs> Macnet's head. I mean, it's like me. It's chocolate. So so I'm just imagining it like a rip off Max Brenner. Oh. Hello. Hello. It sounded like it was... What is that? It is little okay, balls. So... Oh! oh. oh. They so look like little milk duds. They're shaped like coffee beans. So, I mean... Smells like coffee. Oh. Mm -hmm. This tastes like chocolate. <laughs> no, it tastes like coffee. It tastes uh, like a mocha. I just taste chocolate. Oh, there we go. It tastes like eating a mocha. I think it's probably just because I drank coffee earlier. But and it tastes like actual good coffee yeah, as well. Yeah, no, that is, that's a decent coffee. Because like, when you usually get coffee chocolate, their coffee is usually really nasty. That, that fake stuff, like mm. instant, just... But this actually tastes like actual coffee. Coffee that's just been turned into a... Um... Chocolate. Yeah. Nick's gonna really love these. That is, that's great, mm, That's yum ass. I am actually... I'm actually really surprised. That's that's really good. Apparently, it's quite a traditional thing. It comes from 1920. Oh, well, there yeah. You go. Obviously, looking by the box. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what would you give that one? Definitely a four. Definitely, definitely a, four? a four. I'll go a four as well. I definitely think my favourite one was the quick lunch. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. It's a bit of a quick one, I feel. I'll see how long this records for. But if you guys have anything you would like to send us to, either torture us or you know make us get high on sugar. And by torture us, she means me. Because she'll know what it is. Uh, I'm not like necessarily. If you just give it with no labels and then like give me a cheat sheet. That's after, dangerous. That is dangerous. But um, if you want to send us some stuff, uh, there's a my link to my PO box in the description, and there's also the address is Sky High Studios PO Box 82, Green Slopes, Queensland, Australia, and the postcode is 4120. Can't wait to see what you guys send us, and we'll see you all next time. Bye okay, bye.